Christ, Lord, now and right here, the Holy Ghost, the one true God. Back with you with the next video on my NBA 2K23 playlist. Today, continuing NBA 2K23. MP, looking sharp. <laughs> Thank you, Nicole. Thank you. You know, I have to change up just a little bit. I would say more than a little bit. <laughs> Globe is real. Thank you, thank you. And I've been reading online about you too. It seems you've gone viral of late. Yeah, well, you know, I'm, I'm a man of many talents. Clearly. <laughs> so where did this new look come from? Well, it's actually uh, Audrey Louise Reynolds. You know, she designed the MP show you've probably seen everyone rocking. Yes. But she also helped me track down some unique pieces to take my style to the next level. Okay. Well, where did this newfound interest in fashion come from? I wouldn't say it's new, but I've been into fashion my whole life, you know. But being able to achieve a certain amount of success and notoriety on the court has allowed me to collaborate with and boost, you know, designers like Audrey Louise Reynolds, you know. Fashion isn't just an interest of mine. It's something that I actively support. So what else would you like to do in this area? Maybe start your own label? <laughs> well, maybe someday, maybe. Okay. But I just know how tough the business can be for designers starting out. So that's why I want to use my platform to shine light on promising up-and-comers like Audrey Louise Reynolds, for instance. Uh, if I can help someone as talented as her establish a place in this industry, that would mean the world for me. Oh, I bet. Well, judging by how many people are wearing your shirt here tonight, I'd say you are <laughs> succeeding. Thanks, MP. Thank you. Alright, time to play the game. Here we go. The gameplay is actually so much fun too. Like, it's really quite fun. Getting the guidance from Coach Steve Kerr. So Golden State will get the first GM Bob Myers. And for Joe Lakin. First Cross Warriors to organization. Doors. Great fans. Great team. Time to start thinking about changing fun. strategies or even more. But I think if you're a head coach or a member of the front office, it always is an opportunity to evaluate where you and are. And a matchup against the talented lose. Jared Allen the and the Cleveland Cavaliers. Is the whole group connected? Are they working toward winning? Are they being unselfish and putting the organization first? That's the three. If you can answer those questions, nice. then you can make your next move. Well, the constant movement of Stephen Curry allows him to get to that catch and shoot game. That is beautiful basketball. Allen outside. Cleveland moving the ball around. And yeah. with the slam. Oh, Aaron God. Allen putting on a show. Get out of his way, folks. It's coming down on your head. Curry kicks to Thompson. Fires for three. And another three for Golden State. And that's exactly what he's looking for. Draining the triple. With the short break in the action gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Well, I was able to talk with J.B. Bickerstaff for a minute. This will be the first game this season against this team. He knows they're great rim protectors, but he doesn't want his guys to back down. He told them, push the action, stay confident. You may get one sent back. Don't let that deter you at all. So Kevin, they're going to How did they not get that rebound? All, game. all right, David, sounds like they're plotting GA to try and overcome some pretty stingy defense. That's yeah, another three. Play calling is going to be key here, guys. You can't afford to be predictable. And one of the most predictable things to do would be to play the one-on-one -on -one game. You want to work the basketball, work deep into the clock if you have to. And here's Rubio after the three-pointer from Stephen Curry. Let's give some credit to the defense for how they're guarding this guy right now because they're refusing to let him get comfortable. Let's it go from deep. And another oh, three unreal. Stephen Curry. The splash throws are on fire. Cavaliers have gone just one or four to get this game started. I'm the wing Mitchell. Now 
Allen with the screen for Mitchell. To end the run. There's Allen. That's yeah. good on the assist by Mitchell. Oh, good. I think we think of Donovan Mitchell first and foremost as a scorer, but I love seeing his passing ability come into play. Greg, an outstanding score. Donovan Mitchell takes it to another level in the playoff. Good. And Kevin, how about all of his averages go up come playoff time? Spider is a guy who wants the limelight and, like other stars, takes on more of a load in the postseason. Now, Okoro. After the miss three from Stephen Kerr. Clock at four. And he gets the whistle for oh, the three second. Nice. And the Warriors with the We haven't stopped out, so that's okay. But that's what it is. Foot on the gas, MP. Get in there. Pick up right where you left off, MP. So they've closed the, the gap, but we got Steph Curry, so, so we can get some threes here. Bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. The core of this team all out there. Curry and Thompson in the backcourt with Green at the four. Gary Payton the second is out there with White. Now Lavert after the miss three from Stephen Curry. Lavert with it over Thompson, and it's Lavert missing. Curry dishes to Payton. He kicks it to Green on the wing. Thompson. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Thompson's got six. Well, this is his prototypical shot. Clay Thompson from three. Here's Lavert. 11-point game, his last outing. Allen, a screen on Thompson. Lavert, the pass to Allen. Terrific ah. assist, a nice finish. Solid play all around. He's really not had a great, done a great job against Allen on the screen. It's been pretty bad so far, actually. Curry outside. That shot off, and Cleveland will come the other way. You don't mind that shot, though. That shot doesn't go off. This shot, dude. That's of no solace to the players. Uh, they played their hearts out. You know what? Sometimes you play a great game and lose. What you hope that happens, pass right though, there to is the it left. toughens them up a bit mentally, and they figure out That's how it. to close it out next time. That's no right. From Peyton. The Cavaliers trail by four. Lavert with it. Picked up by Thompson. Passes it to Mobley. Rubio outside. Allen outside. Lavert against Thompson. Rubio in the corner. And a miss there on the triple. Warriors leading by four. Curry finds White. And he banks in the layup. White's got his first bucket of the night. And that's exactly what they're going for on that shot. At the elbow, it's Okoro. Tipped away and Stop. stolen by Peyton. Outside Curry. Curry gets the screen from White. Curry shot is off. I guess even he has to miss one of those once in a while. GA, it wasn't long ago that the Cavs were an afterthought in the NBA. Well, not anymore. I mean, Cleveland has a tremendous young roster. They play some of the toughest D in the NBA, and they're only going to get better in the years to come. Well, I'll tell you what, he's going to buy himself a ticket to the bench. If he keeps shooting it like that, he has been putrid here this quarter. Allen's shot is off. For the Warriors, they won their last contest that game against Sacramento. Wide a screen on Rubio. Curry kicks to Green. Back to Curry. Jacks up a three. Good. Nice it's job. Curry picking up the assist. Curry's got 12 in the game. Well, 
I think, for the Warriors. They re and circling back to this first half, fellas, a decisive... That is more than enough of us. Let's... Wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Curry has been sensational. Yeah, he's just been raining down on him from deep here. You talk about dialed in. Well, the break certainly didn't have a cooling effect on him at all. He's in a great rhythm, looking comfortable and confident. So on the floor for Cleveland, the defensive pair in the post, Mobley and Allen. Mitchell is out there with Ricky Rubio, and it's Okoro into the three. Here's Mitchell, and it's White with the rebound. White's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thanks very much. Karis LeVert has become one of the game's best slashers. He says, honestly, I just go to the front of the rim and work on different spins. Getting more comfortable with both hands and finishing, Kyrie Irving did that when he was younger, and that's one of the ways he became a great finisher. Kevin, back to you. He is a great finisher. David thinks he's studying the greats, and it's paying off. Evaluating recent attempts, doors to create super teams. They haven't quite worked out as planned, have they? What we understand now is the game isn't played on paper. So many things go into winning. Chemistry, health, and if you risk your future trying to put together a super team with no consideration for what comes next, that can be problematic. Mobley sets the pick for Rubio. He can't get it to go. Great tee that time from Green. They have yet to hit a shot. A real slow start here in the second half. Wiggins gets the screen from White. Back to Green. Curry finds Thompson. And a nice. great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Thompson's got nine points. Well, the ability to rise and fire off the catch is to find Clay Thompson. Allen with the screen for Rubio. And we're just around two minutes into the final half of play now. Mitchell passes to Allen. Six on the shot clock. From outside the arc. And it's Mitchell missing. Not a terrific start here in the second half. Four attempts, nothing to show for it. Thompson outside. Green gets a screen from White. In the corner, it's Wiggins. And another three for Golden State. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. With the fadeaway. And it's White with the rebound. White's got seven rebounds in the game. White a screen on Mitchell. Thompson the Halls play Thompson. Oh man, it's just fun. It's just so much fun when you set screens for those guys and you just end up get such good plays from it, you know? Thompson and Curry can just make a three and then Green is an excellent passer off the screen and roll, so that's a t it's just been a ton of fun. <laughs> Quarter of play, about two minutes in now. On the wing, Di Vincenzo, covered by Rubio. White, good. Yeah, they're rolling right now. That lead continues to grow. And one of the things that's helped that is they're getting it done on both ends. Terrific focus on offense, and they're locked in defensively. So with Thompson sitting on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. Gary Payton II is out there with Dante DiVincenzo. Fight through so many leg injuries over the course of his career. Incredible. And the Warriors making a change here. Curry's checked in. Danny Green, he's checked in for the Cavaliers. White setting the pick for Curry. To the paint. 
Peyton passes to Curry. Six to shoot. Pass to White. Good, and Curry gets the assist. That's now eight points for MP. Well, at this point, if you get the ball into Steph Curry's hands, good things will happen. He's toying with the defense out of the pick and roll. The pass to Levert. For a while, the East was all LeBron. And the West? Well, Doris, as we know, the West was dominated by Golden State. But now, does the league, do you feel more wide open? Well, certainly, when you look at last season, I thought there were four teams in the East that absolutely had a shot to make the finals. Contingent on health. Obviously, Milwaukee, without Chris Middleton, struggled to get over the finish line. In the West, you had three teams who I thought legitimately could advance. So certainly, the gap between playoff teams feels smaller. So it's Rubio bringing it up for the Cavaliers. Mobley against Green. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two. Green. Second for team five. Second team five. Good game. So we see the Warriors taking the game here. Just a good 10 and 10 game. MP's legendary fit. He looked like he stole his mama's credit card and went on a shopping spree in 1997. <laughs> no, he looked like a clown. That's an insult to clowns. Uh, yeah, you're right. Clowns be having some fire fits, some shoes. Oh, man, I'd rather wear a wig and a big red nose rather than whatever MP got on. Oh, you want the flowers to show out the water? I always wanted one of those. Oh, somebody's birthday coming up. Hey, okay, appreciate <laughs> you, King. Oh, I got you, brother. <laughs> but this looks terrible. No, that's bad. <laughs> that's bad, man. I wouldn't put that on. Hey man, I don't got a lot of time, just so you know. Okay, so I'll get right to it. How much would you say you contributed to this win? I mean, I think I played my role well. You know, coach trusted me to get, get us organized out there, and I take that responsibility very serious. Um, you know, I'm always in my guys' ears calling out plays, letting them see what I see, so it's big. I mean, how big would you say? <laughs> well, I mean, I, I can't put a number on it, but everyone's job is important on this team. Regardless of how many points you score or how many minutes you play, everyone's job is important. Hey, MP. So what was your favorite part of tonight's win? You know, John, with every win, you know, it brings us one step closer to bringing this, uh, this amazing city a championship, you know? Um, so from that perspective, my favorite part was when the clock struck zero. <laughs> we, we knew we had it in the bag at that point, you know? Yeah, I see what you're doing, man. Taking nothing for granted. Never. Good stuff, MP. Thank you. Surprise, surprise, our old friend MP is back in the news again. This time, well, because of a report from our friend Nate White of the Daily Horn that states, people familiar with high-ranking voices in the front office are hearing that they're disappointed with the lack of leadership MP has shown thus far in his career. Something that was supposed to be his calling card coming out of college. So what do you guys think? Has MP been a bad leader at the NBA level. Guess who's been saying this since day one? Me, <laughs> yours truly. Anyone who has a bad athlete claims they're a great leader. It's the oldest trick in the book. And I'm not one bit surprised that his so-called leadership abilities disappeared soon as he stepped up his level of competition. It's hard to lead when you can't stay on the floor. Park. 
Have you even watched him play this year? I've seen enough. Okay. Uh, what's his true shooting percentage? I have to look it up. How many paint touches does he have a game? How many pull-up threes has he taken? What's his off-ball defense been like? JJ, do you really want me to answer those questions? Or have you, are you having a meltdown? <laughs> a little bit <laughs> do of both. I, do I it's need a to call the doctor? No, you don't need to call the doctor. My point is, I don't know how anyone who's watched MP play this year could question his leadership abilities. Not only has he earned a right to start, he's playing winning basketball. He's been great in the community. He's done everything this organization has asked of him, and then some. That's not leadership to you? Great in the community, winning basketball, leadership? I'm sorry, but skateboarding with a bunch of children isn't what I call getting involved in the community. And it sure in the heck isn't leadership. What he's doing on the skate, what is he doing <laughs> on the skateboard anyway? Hey, he's not bad. Is he going to break his neck? I, listen, I just think it's ridiculous to question a rookie's leadership a few months into his career. He's a young player. Yeah, and I was, oh. I was actually talking about uh, this with Joe Kim Noah on my podcast. Yeah, Joe Kim Noah. Mm -hmm. And he said sure that do. nobody's nobody MP's age should be asked to be their team's leader. It takes time to earn that role at this level. By that measure, MP's way ahead of the curve. As someone, J.J., who won a championship. Oh, here we go. I could tell you what you're saying right now is a bunch of nonsense. What, what do championships have to do with it? Patrick Ewing doesn't have a championship. Steve Nash doesn't have a championship. Do you know more about basketball than them because you got the sixth most minutes on the 2008 whoa, Celtics? Whoa, wow. Whoa, Shots whoa, fired. Whoa, whoa, There's no need for the insults, <laughs> J.J. The more I think about it, the more your anti-MP stance makes zero sense to me. If anything, you should relate to him. You didn't have the greatest physical gifts either, but you were consistent, you worked harder than anybody, and you maximized your skill set. People wanted you on their team because you were a great teammate. You had a winning mentality. How is that different than MP? Well, first of all, JJ, <laughs> I appreciate the compliments. But if the Celtics passed on Shep Owens to draft me, I think they were crazy too. He's that dude. Carry on. Hey, MP, can you spare some time? What's up, Nicole? Oh, wow, this is quite the setup. Well, you're the cover story. We gotta make it look good. I dig it, I dig it. So what would you like in here, there? I think we'll have you head into the back so we can take some pictures while we do the interview. Oh, at the same time? Yeah, we'll keep everything real natural and get you out of here a little quicker. <laughs> Sound like you're trying to get rid of me. No, I just assume you've got a secret art gallery uh -huh. show or something you gotta <laughs> run to. <laughs> this is Erica and she'll be taking the photos. Nice to meet you, MP. Pleasure. We're all set uh, whenever you're ready. Yeah. Give me something 
cool or something confidant. You own this place, babe, okay? Okay, I got it, I got it. Oh, I love this. Very good. Mm-hmm. Good? Okay, so can I hit you up with some questions? Go ahead. Oh, you can answer, just uh, don't lose the vibe. Okay, babe? I got you, I got you. All right, so here we are, photo shoot, cover story, not because of basketball, but because of rap. Crazy, right? <laughs> a, a bit. Do you feel like a rapper? I don't know. What does a rapper feel like? Uh, brash, confidant, that's what I want. Uh, none of this shrug, you know, just uh, give me that elan. So I guess what I'm asking is, do you feel more like a basketball player or a musician? Oh, that's an easy question. I would say baller, 100%. I mean, that is my first and only true love. It's good. Mm -hmm. I mean, so funny. Less talking, that... more posing. Okay, my bad. Real quick. Just finding that outlet with music has been super cool, but I've existed without that outlet until my, for my whole life up until this point. Um, you take basketball away from me, I have no idea who I am, you know? Okay, I hear you, but do you worry that exploring this other passion might be opening you up to criticism? Who? I don't know, I mean, you have a bad game, a fan might think you're not as focused as you could be. You've already been quite the lightning rod in the media with your draft position and local popularity and whatnot. Do you worry at all about giving your critics more ammunition? Um, I don't think it does anybody much good to worry about what the critics think. Now, if it was coming from the team, that's a different story right there, you feel me? So no one has expressed any concern with your foray into music? No, nah, it's actually the complete opposite. Everyone's been really, really supportive. But if that changes, you know, I'm always down to listen to those concerns. Okay, so a uh, new direction. Okay. Now you're a bit boy, and you've lost your balloon. It's floating away, but you're angry at the balloon. Okay? okay. Honestly, I don't know what that means, but I'll try to internalize it. Oh, good, yeah, that's perfect. Okay. I am so glad you're there and I am here. <laughs> so music has happened for you seemingly overnight. Does it surprise you how quickly you've been taken seriously as a musician? Not at all. I mean, I'm taken seriously because I've worked with some very talented people. But what do you think made them want to work with you? It feels like maybe you were vetted by them before the public even knew this was going on. And the balloon popped. <gasps> Such surprise! <sighs> talent recognizes talent. I mean, Demo saw me impress people right here in this room and wanted more. Boz and Elite heard those tracks that I did and wanted more. It doesn't surprise me that people heard those two tracks and want more as well. It seems like you've given this a lot of thought. Well, I'm just trying to give you some good answers, that's all. Oh, I like this little smile. <laughs> More of that. Okay. No, too big. Just a, a teeny smile, like, <gasps> like you know a secret. <laughs> Not to interrupt, but music is obviously something you take seriously. Why does music matter to you? So it's basically giving me another avenue to connect with people. Do you mean your audience or people you're collaborating with? Uh... Both, actually. I mean, my favorite thing about playing ball is being on a team and going together uh, towards a goal. The same with music. <laughs> um, when we're in the studio, we're talking about ideas and we're taking strengths and talents from different people and trying to meld them together to do something special. You know, to me, that's very cool and was a big reason why, you know, I wanted to go into something new. Okay, so now uh, we're almost done. I just need you to pretend you're a bunny. Like hopping around? Uh, no. Though no one else knows, you're a bunny. Maybe that was your little secret. Okay, you ask questions, I take photos. Okay, ignore her. <sighs> oh, is this good? Perfect, <laughs> perfect. I love it, I love it. Just don't let us see your little cotton tail, okay? Okay, well, since we're about to wrap this up, last question. What now? What's next? An album? A tour? Nah, I'm gonna pretty much just keep plugging away. You know, I'm trying to win an NBA championship. That's my focus. You know, so I'm grinding every day until I get there. Okay, well, I guess good luck with that. I'm good. You? MP, you were brilliant. You're like my Edie Sedgwick. <laughs> oh, okay, well, I hope that's a good thing. Oh, yes, yes, thank you. Thanks, MP. I'll let Ashley know as soon as we've got a cover. For sure, thank you. I can't wait to check it out. Yeah. <laughs> I just hope it's not that funny. <laughs> Hey, nice. All right. 
So now we're heading back to talk to Ricky. And that's where I'll go ahead and end the video there for this week. I want to say thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe as it greatly helps the channel. Like to be with you all. Take care and thanks again.